and the market seemed very surprised by this number. You follow all these individual retailers. What was your reaction to that kind of weakness? Isn't it interesting? It's a scary looking chart. The thing is, we heard the December news a month and a half ago. It's February 14th. So what's interesting is that hits and it, to what extent it's true. I've had a lot of questions. People have been trying to frame with all the noise. Is it, is it valid or not? But the other question is, does it matter? Is it new? Did we not already find this out? And I think ultimately we've seen, we've had companies report December, we've had them report holiday, and we've had them report Q4. It's a mixed bag. The consumer seems fine. And in this scenario where I actually think the consumer is going to see a lot of deals coming their way because maybe they're fine, the companies may have a little bit more inventory. So, so, but to that point, Simeon, we have seen all these companies report and no one expected such a poor number. So does that suggest there's, there's a, a bit of exaggeration in the number or that we're going to see things turn much more aggressively south from here? So based purely on that number, that shouldn't lead, right? We already know December, we know January. So if that number is correct, what it would argue is there's someone that we haven't heard from yet, which is essentially has the size of an Amazon type online business that went the other direction to make that math level off. We probably haven't heard something like that because it probably didn't happen. So directionally, I think it's very fair to feel concern. I think there was a general sense of complacency in the US that we found out over the holiday period from the department stores that probably was too comforting. But I don't think it's gonna be anywhere near as bad as what this release seems to suggest. What was interesting about the numbers is that online sales also were quite weak. I mean, this, Amazon said it had a record holiday season, so what gives? And, and that's my point. I think to make that math work, if it was legit, you had to have another business that would counteract the strength that Amazon saw. Amazon had 18% North America growth. So we need to figure out a business that's able to mathematically get us back to that level that the retail sales data said to make that work. It probably suggests, again, that directionally it's worth looking at on a numerical basis and that the order of magnitude, I think it's overblown. And I think what is interesting, we are in the middle of Q4 for, my, for, for the branded retail world, and we're seeing these mixed results. And up until this quarter, you shied away from multinationals, you favored the domestics. Feels like that's inverting a little bit. So what is your top pick then for the year ahead? So I think right now Capri, which is the former Michael Kors holding, they own Michael Kors, <coughs> Jimmy Choo and Versace. The reality is there's this interesting multinational story. They also have self-help and they're creating their new version of a portfolio of brands, which I would argue is still being priced as a collection of distressed assets. I think you were just starstruck by Kim Kardashian at the Versace runway show, Simeon. Finally, that, how does this set us up for, for <laughs> no, I'm, well, in I'm that smiling, camp. so I have to it, not smile. How does it set us up for retail earnings, which we're really going to, I mean, Courtney said Walmart's coming next week and then we're going to get, we're going to get a whole batch of them. Are expectations going to be lowered? I think what you saw today with the intraday move lets you know that, to Wilfred's point, people probably weren't expecting as bad, even if they were ready for some pain, but have now internalized it. There's Canada Goose reported today. You can see the movement. That's a pretty heavy move based on a stock that's putting up industry-leading numbers, but not good enough. So I think you're going to have a lot of these company-specific stories where the stocks have come back a lot from the December lows. People have gotten a little bit more comfortable and that complacency is something to be afraid of. There, is, there are inventories across the U.S., there will be discounts, there will be deals, but then there's also these interesting global opportunities which could surprise to the upside.